The overall design and feel of your online course can definitely impact its perceived value in the eyes of your students. That's why we've built Thrive Apprentice to give you complete design freedom to build the layouts you want. But what if you're not a designer? Well, Thrive Apprentice comes with pre-designed templates, and so today I'll be sharing with you the newest additions. Hi there, I'm Christine with Thrive Themes. Now, when you think of the various pages that comprise your online course, you'll have a course overview page. So this is the first page your students will see when they take your course. You'll also have module pages. So each module in your course can have its own page to provide your students with a summary and an outline of the content within that specific module. And you'll also have lesson pages. These pages contain the actual course content. So you can think of these pages as a set. Today, we'll be taking a look at the new template sets in Thrive Apprentice. Each set includes a design for your course overview page, your module pages, and your lesson pages. Now, although these are pre-designed templates, keep in mind that they are 100% editable. You can change fonts, colors, spacing, borders, backgrounds, and more. So first we have a set called Colored Wave. This is an OMI inspired design. So if you're using the OMI companion theme that comes with Thrive Theme Builder on your main website, this template set will complement it nicely. We also have the rounded set. The rounded corners give this template a friendly feel with pops of color to help certain elements stand out. Next, we have the refined set. This set has straight lines and a slightly layered look. Next, we have the gradient boxed set. This is a bold style that displays your content in a boxed layout with a nice color gradient behind it. Now, in addition to template sets, we also have new apprentice sidebar layouts. So the sidebar will help your students navigate through your course so they can see which lessons they've completed and what's coming up next. The sidebar designs are separate from template sets, so you have the freedom to use the sidebar you want with the template set you want. Next, we also have new school homepage designs. Your school homepage will display all of your available courses, or at least the ones you want to display based on the filtering options. So those are the new templates. One thing I wanted to mention is that the main color shown in each of these templates is completely editable and it's super easy to change. Thrive Apprentice uses the same smart color technology used in Thrive Theme Builder and Thrive Architect smart landing pages. So you can easily select a main brand color and the design accents that use variations of that color, such as icons, buttons, and background colors will automatically update on all of your courses, modules, and lessons. In fact, I'll show you exactly where you can do that. Here in the school wizard under the brand color tab, if you click on the color swatch here, you can simply select a new color and then all of your main school pages will automatically update to this new color. In addition to easily customizing your main brand color, it's also really easy to customize the typography, but not just for individual templates, but for your entire online school. So I'm currently in the design tab in Thrive Apprentice, and at the bottom of the page is a preview of the typography design. So to edit this typography, click the edit button. And so let's say you want to edit all of the headings for your online school. So I will click here on the middle green line to select all of the headings, and then you can edit all of the headings at once. You can also select all of the paragraph text and edit all of the paragraph text at once. And of course, you can select and edit individual elements. What's important to know is that this is the main control center for your typography. So even if you go back to the school wizard and select a different template layout, the default setting is that the new template you've selected will use the typography that you've set here. So how can you access these new designs? If you're just starting to build your online course, the new templates will be available in the school wizard when you choose your layouts. So for example, step five of the school wizard is choosing the layout for your school home page. If you click the drop down in the upper right hand corner, you'll see all of the available designs with the new ones being toward the bottom. Now, by the time you see this video, all of the templates labeled internal will be available and ready for use on your site. 
if you already have courses set up and you want to test out new designs before applying them to your online school, then we recommend using the template editor to add new templates. This method is a little more time consuming than just going back to the site wizard, but it allows you to keep your original designs and customizations in place, and then you can finesse your new design until you're ready to switch over. To use this method, open the design that you want to edit and then click manage templates. So these are all of the templates that I've loaded into my Thrive Apprentice design. Let's click add new template and then let's give this a name and then you can choose your content type. So let's assume that I want to create a new lesson template. So I'll go ahead and select lesson and then you can choose the post format. For now, I'll choose standard, which is a text lesson and then I'll click choose template. And now you can choose from all of the available template designs. You can see that there are some new ones here towards the bottom. I'll go ahead and select this one. And so now this template has been added to my lesson templates and you can click edit to customize this template. As long as you don't assign this template to a specific page or set it as your default template, nobody will see it and you can experiment with the design. Now, when you are happy with the design and you want it to go live, then click the three dot menu and click save as default. Now, one thing I want to mention is that if you leave Thrive Apprentice and you come back to the templates tab and it seems like you can't find some of your templates, it may just be that you're in a different view. So let's scroll up to the top of the page and I'll go to this drop down here and then I'll go to all templates and then you should be able to see all of your templates. Now here at Thrive Themes, we like to give you as much control over your online courses as possible. So don't feel like you have to use the same template set for everything. So for example, you can certainly use the rounded template for your module pages, but use the colored wave template for your video lesson pages. And what you can also do is choose specific templates for specific lessons. So let's take a look at this demo course. I've got a couple of lessons here. I'm going to go to edit and add content. So I'm going to click on Thrive Apprentice lesson in the breadcrumbs, and then I'll go to Thrive Apprentice lesson template settings. And here you can see the active template for this lesson. And below that you can see some additional templates, which you can activate for this particular lesson. Now, what you might notice is that there's only a few templates here, but Thrive Apprentice has many more lesson template designs available. So how can you get those other template designs into this list so that you can assign one of them to this lesson? What you'll have to do first is add the templates you want in the template editor, just as I showed you in the previous segment. So to refresh your memory, you'll need to go to the design tab and then go to the design that you want to edit and click edit design. And then under the template editor, you'll click manage templates and then click add new in the upper right hand corner. And then you can give your new template a name. You'll need to choose a content type and you may need to choose a format and then click choose template. And from here you can choose a design that you like. And if you want to make additional customizations, you can edit that template. After you've added the template and made your customizations, you can then go back to the content for a particular lesson. And now here is the template I just added and I can activate it just for this lesson. All right, so those are the new templates that are available in Thrive Apprentice. As you can see with Thrive Apprentice, you can make use of the flexible design options to match your courses to your brand. Thrive Apprentice is part of Thrive Suite, so visit thrivethemes.com slash suite to purchase Thrive Suite and get access to all of our tools. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.